Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support and I hope all is well with everyone. Today we are going to find out who is currently thinking heavily about you and why. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not apply to each and every one of you. Okay Scorpio, spirits and angels, please show me who is currently thinking heavily about Scorpio and why. Some of you, just some of you, the Empress can indicate a mother figure, could be a mother figure thinking heavily about you in regards to, especially if some of you, if you're traveling, okay, they could be worried about your travels, just some of you, but for the majority of you, Scorpio, this can either, Empress can indicate a wife, a husband, doesn't matter he or she, is not gender specific, or somebody that you may have seen as a potential life partner, okay? Uh, we've got the magician here in our verse and the world. This is somebody you were in a relationship with, two of cups in my verse. Looks like both of you are separated. Ace of Wands here is in reverse and Ace of Cups here is also in reverse. This is somebody I feel like in the past you were in a love relationship with. Both of you could have been very passionate with each other, talked about love, okay? Very genuine, I would say romantic and very passionate relationship that you used to have with this person. And the world here can indicate this is somebody whom you could have uh, closed your chapter with and you could have started a new chapter. This person was in your life for quite a bit, I would say. Okay? Some of you, you may have been married to this person or that you could have seen this person as uh, a, again, a lifetime partner. The magician here is in love first. This person is thinking heavily about how you used to give them, how you used to nurture them, how you used to mean the world to them. All that they could be thinking that you mean the world to them now, but it's really hard for them to manifest that back. It's very hard. Uh, they're thinking how hard it is, how hard it is to bring all of those back to them. I hope that makes sense to you. Because it's in reverse, the magicians. It feels like it's really hard for them to manifest or feeling kind of powerless in regards to making some changes or to change things around between the two of you. We've got the ten of ones here in, in reverse. There's somebody you no longer are carrying the burden. You could have let go of this person, maybe because you've you, you're starting to understand your own worth and value. And we've got the Three of Cups here in reverse. This is somebody you may be thinking, okay, I'm not too sure if returning to this person is a good idea. This is someone you have let go of. Again, Seven Pentacles here in reverse. You could have waited for this person for a while and you no longer are waiting for this person. This person is thinking heavily about, again, what you, you have provided for them. Uh, how beautiful you are or how gorgeous you are. It doesn't matter again, no, not gender specific. How you were their world, right? But now all of these cards are in reverse. So somebody has given up on this connection or on this person. Again, roles can be switched, but let's see more. Yep, they're thinking about, again, <laughs> how gorgeous you are or how good looking you are, how attractive you are, how alluring you are. Uh, definitely the attraction is still there. They're thinking heavily about you, not just thinking. Yeah, They look at your pictures as well, that's for sure. And we've got the Fool in Reverse. This is somebody whom, um, again, it can be reverse, but the Fool in Reverse indicates somebody whom could have taken risks in the past and it didn't pan out the way they would like it to be or somebody just feeling really foolish for something that they have done in the past. They could be thinking about how foolish they have been or vice versa. And Nine of Pentacles here is in reverse. This is somebody either, um, because the Nine of Pentacles in reverse can indicate some sort of codependency. Either this person has depended on, dependent on you in some way, shape or form or vice versa. But the Seven of Swords here is in reverse. You know, there's an energy of somebody lying in regards of their status, whether they're single or or in a relationship. Somebody may have 
caught somebody here with the seven of swords here in reverse. Can be anything. It just feels like this could be someone you could have caught either being deceptive, could have been a liar, a cheater, something deceitful, okay? Some of it could be because of money, okay? Not just about lying or cheating, but it could be because of somebody scamming, like something to do with money, okay? So Scorpio, just take what resonates with you. This is a general reading. So the chariot and the ace of swords here. This person is also thinking heavily in regards to making, taking action towards you to talk to you because ace of swords can indicate some sort of communication. But, uh, for those of you, if your person is involved with somebody, or if this person is involved with somebody else, or if it's you, um, they're thinking about needing to cut something off or somebody off in order to have this renewed uh, relationship with you with the ace of swords here because ace of swords indicates a new beginning but something needs to go someone needs to go okay something needs to cu be cut off let's see more they're definitely considering with the hermit here is somebody considering um thinking heavily for sure reflecting making a decision to take actions towards you again feels like they see your worth and your value even though both of you are separated but they do want to have this new beginning with you because ten of cups is here either this is somebody you were in a relationship with in the past or that you could have children with this person or ten of cups is them seeing the future potential be potentially being with you long term they're thinking about that because Ten of Swords here is in love bar. So if both of you are going through some issues right now uh, or separated, they're, they're thinking about either getting back together, reconciling, or just thinking really far ahead into the future and wanting to make a very um, wise decision, okay? In regards to you, in regards to this connection. The tower is here, so it could also indicate them awakening to the fact that you could be somebody that they would like to be with long term and that with the Empress here, you're somebody that they could see themselves spending the rest of their life with. And the Hangman, the Page of Cups, this person may be somebody like you, or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, can be any sign, strong Aries, definitely strong Virgo, um, hmm. Gemini as well. Okay, so we've got the 201 Scorpio. This person is kind of indecisive. I feel like they're at a crossroad right now. They're taking some time off to think, to reflect for sure in regards to reaching out with a page of cups or offering you an apology or love. All right, Scorpio, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. And I would like to leave you with my latest video from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. If you're interested, check it out. And also, I'm open for... No, I'm not open for personal readings. I'm closed for personal readings um, for a while because I'm just way too busy right now. Um, very energy... Uh, and time consuming when I do personal readings because I want to always I always want to make sure that I'm really doing it right you know but anyway Scorpio I hope to see you tomorrow in your next reading I post your videos almost every single day but I do take some time off every now and then but um, if you would like to notify like to be notified every time when I post your videos don't forget to hit on the bell notification button all right take care Scorpio bye